Hello to YouTube, this is the Spoonie Bard. Uh, so, if any of you are familiar with Michinin's channel, I've been following it, uh, a few days ago, she posted a video about the YouTube walkout, um, which is going to be taking place from tomorrow to the 13th, uh, here in the US anyway. And essentially what that means is that we just stop using YouTube for three days. Uh, so no uploads, no views, don't do anything on YouTube. This is in protest to a change to YouTube's terms of service, uh, saying that they can uh, essentially remove any channel that they deem not economically viable with no due cause or prior warning. That is obviously very concerning. It's also something that's not that not a lot of people have been talking about because it's been overshadowed by the whole COPPA situation. Um, so yeah, I mean, it sounds very bad. I would hope that it's not that bad, but it's, you know, <sighs> you can never be too sure with YouTube. They pull all kinds of crazy stuff like this. So, so yeah, I will be participating in this as well. I will not be on YouTube for not only just the walkout, but also an extended period of time after that. I'm going to let you guys know about that in just a little bit. But yeah, I would highly encourage you guys to do the same as well. And honestly, you know, there's a chance that taking the break from YouTube could be good for you. Uh, and I'm hoping it'll be good for me too. Because uh, I've been spending a lot of time thinking about YouTube and worrying about YouTube. And it's been... It's been really weighing down up here. And I really don't need that right now. So, yeah. I'm taking a break. I'm hoping I'm going to come back a much better person I was than I left. Um, but... I'm going to be, but I will be leaving YouTube for a little bit longer than that. Probably like a week and a half. <clears throat> and the reason is that I'm going to see my partner uh, who lives in another state in just a week. Uh, so I hope that spending some time with them will, uh, will hopefully, you know, get me feeling good about like making stuff on YouTube again. Uh, because if I can be, if I can be 100% honest with you guys, and I don't mean to, I don't mean to make this entirely about me, this is why I saved this part for later in the video, um, I haven't been feeling very good about making much of anything, if I'm being totally honest, I don't really know why that is, and it seems weird, because I just put out a video, like, not too long ago, which was like a whole soundtrack cover of a video game, but that was like, I, it was kind of just this one-time thing, and it's like... But, you know, when it comes to, like, art and stuff, or animations, or, like, even some song covers that I, like, wanted to do, but then just, like, lost the motivation. It's like, I don't understand why that happens, if I can be totally honest. I feel like a part of it is just me being overexposed to YouTube in general, and just, like, being generally sick of, of the culture, I guess. I don't know. It just seems like... It just seems like this is the kind of place that rewards a lot of a lot of shallow content to be made and I don't like making shallow content. Problem is not shallow content takes a long time to produce, so there's no way in hell you're going to be successful if you're producing not shallow content. At least that's what it feels like anyway, Jesus. I gr granted, I'm not saying that shallow content can't be entertaining, obviously. It's just it's just not my cup of tea, you know? So... So, yeah. I just need the extra time off to really... To really... I guess take a break from thinking about it. And also to, like, get a new perspective on this kind of stuff. Uh, cause, like... You know, if I, th if I just... Even if I just think about the idea of making a video for a long time, it's just something about it makes me really upset. And I wish I knew why. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to make any sense to me. I don't understand why I would be feeling this way, but I kind of do. And... I don't know. I guess I just generally have no idea what I want to do do with this channel and I don't even know if I want to do anything with it because I'm not eligible for monetization so like so 
on the one hand, that's a positive because I think that means that FTC rules don't apply to me. Because I don't have targeted ads on my videos, I can't, my videos can't be used to collect information from anybody. I mean, I have no, I have no knowledge that minors are watching my video. So I guess that's another way in which I'm safe. I would highly suggest you watch a Legal Eagles video about COPPA if you're ever concerned about that kind of stuff. Um, because he sort of put, a, he puts a lot of that stuff into context and goes into greater detail than I've seen most other people go into. Uh, but, but yeah, I think, see, I think someone like me who doesn't monetize their videos, as well as people who just use YouTube as archive channels, who don't aim to make money off of their YouTube videos and do not make any money off of their YouTube videos, I think they'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, like, of course the problem is for slightly bigger YouTubers who do make money off of their stuff and that's really really concerning and I wish uh, I wish it really didn't have to be so I really wish it didn't have to be so but that's just kind of what's happening I guess um, so yeah with with that in mind with that in mind um, it's also got me thinking a lot about like what kind of videos I wanted to make and I had a few ideas for like new types of videos that I wanted to make but I'm honestly not sure if I'd I'm not sure if I'd be good at them because I had like because when I first started this YouTube channel I did video game countdowns which a lot of other people were doing at the time like if you know Fawful's Minion the quarter guy uh uh Maverick Hunter 075 like they were all doing this kind of stuff I was basically aping off of them in just about every way, and in a lot of cases, stealing entire segments of their scripts. Did not feel good about that, and ever since then, I've had kind of a vendetta against hopping on bandwagons like that. It really got under my skin, and to know that I was basically just copying what other people were doing because they were successful. And with that in mind, it's kind of... How do I describe this? It's discouraging for me to try a new for me to try a new video format in which I like speak and use my voice because I'm worried I'm going to screw it up so badly that nobody's going to like it. And any type of video format just feels like so much work when you're looking at it from the perspective of I haven't started yet. I don't know how long this is gonna take. And like what kind of other things could I be doing in that time that would be more productive? Like, for God's sakes, I don't even know how to drive yet. But... I don't know, man. Point is, I'm still... Point is, like, I'm... I'm honestly kind of interested in, like, doing new things for this channel, but I don't know if they're going to be... I don't know if it's going to be worth it is the problem. I don't know if it's going to be one, economically viable, and two, if I'm not making any money anyway, then, like, why should I even bother? Why do I need to change that? Uh, and, of course, the obvious answer is because I want to, but, it's like, do I really? It's like, is this something I actually want, or is this something I'm specifically, I'm specifically desiring because I think it's what other people want? That's, there's a bit of a disconnect there that I'm not very happy with. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to do with this channel anymore. Like, I know I, I know I can probably just keep doing the same thing over and over once I come back from this trip and have a refreshed state of mind and just be like, oh yeah, that's totally what I want to do. Nobody can tell me to do otherwise and I'm not going to tell myself to do otherwise. Uh, that is the mindset that I should have. In fact, I've already spelled it out for myself right there. It's weird then that I'm still hung up on that. And it's concerning to me because it means I can't do much of anything. Because this guy, this guy up here is saying, no, 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 no. You got to feel bad about all that stuff because it's not productive. It's not, it's not engaging content. It's not improving your life or other people's lives. And it's, it's like, dude, shut up. 
I don't know. I, I really don't know what else to say, man. Um, this video is like way longer than it really has any right to be. I, I apologize. I'm just, I'm pretty much just at a point of rambling. <laughs> but like, I don't know. I guess I'd like to, when you come back from the, uh, either before this YouTube walkout thing starts or after you come back, I would be interested in hearing your thoughts, but I urge you guys, please, please stay off of YouTube for the next three days. Get a break. Go do something else. Like, maybe maybe try and get yourself into the habit of exercising or something. That's what I've been trying to do for months, and I haven't been because I've been caught up on YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean... The break from YouTube could be good for you, so I would highly recommend it. Um, but yeah. Anyways, um, I think I've said everything that needs to be said right now. Um, feel free to leave your thoughts. Uh, I'm open for discussion about this. I'm willing to listen to what you guys think about, you know, <laughs> my whole situation. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys have an awesome day. This is the Spoonie Bard signing out. Later.